Let's go into some of these more slightly sophisticated advanced IV problems. I want to go back though and mention some of the basic stuff and refresh your memory. You should have done this already. Now if you haven't watched the video lecture series over how to find the milliliters per hour, you better get that down first. So here's what you learned before in that lecture video series. Let's say you're told a thousand milliliters of whatever it is, a normal saline, some IV fluid, to be given over 10 hours time. And you've got a machine to give the IV with. For every machine, you have to know how many milliliters per hour. Well, that's simple. We have a thousand milliliters. We're doing it for 10 hours. You take a thousand, that's the milliliters, divide by 10, that's the hours. The answer is a hundred. It's that simple. That's easy. Even if it went this far, let's say you had some medicine dissolved in your IV fluid. Let's say you have 600 milligrams of some medicine, I don't care what it is, dissolved in this. That doesn't become involved in the calculation because all you have to know is how many milliliters per hour. I'm just told still, I'm gonna get the thousand milliliters for 10 hours, I divide this by this, and that's my answer. In this case, it doesn't matter if there's medicine dissolved in here or not, as long as you're told how much volume to give and what length of time to give it. But now we're getting into something slightly different. Let's say we have, same kind of thing, sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of. We have the 600 milligrams of medicine dissolved in 1,000 milliliters of, in this case, normal saline. But we're not told to give it over a you know, certain number of hours. We're told this, here's the order. The order is to give the patient 50 milligrams per hour. That's very different. So anytime you're told some amount of medicine in some length of time, I'm gonna give 50 milligrams per hour. I do this very much like a plain old dosage calculation. And let me refresh your memory on that. For a plain old dosage calculation problem, let's say you're told, I'm making this a totally different kind of thing now. It's not this thing at all. We're told to give um, you know, 60 milligrams of medicine, okay? But I've got 50 milligrams of medicine in every one milliliter of liquid. I'm going to inject my patient. I just do this and I take 60 divided by 50 and there's my answer. So what we're doing is we're putting the order here and the dosage strength goes here. We're doing something very similar here. First, what is the order? The order is this. I'm ordered to give 50 milligrams per hour to that patient, meaning every hour that goes by, the patient will get 50 milligrams of the medicine. So let's write this down in the following fashion. Let's write it this way. 50 milligrams per hour. That's a little different from here because if it's just an amount, you put that over one to make it a fraction. Well, write it this way as a fraction and write it this way. Don't write it this way, side to side, write it this way, 50 milligrams per hour. Now, with a plain old dosage calculation problem, what do we do? We multiply by how strong our medicine is. We do the same thing here. How strong is our medicine? We have 60 milli 600 milligrams, pardon me, 600 milligrams dissolved in 1,000 milliliters. Write it that way, but go backwards from bottom to top. I have 600 milligrams of the medicine dissolved in a thousand milliliters of IV fluid. So I've got two fractions, but wait, what is going to cancel out? What words cancel? Why, there's milligrams up here, there's milligrams down here, those cancel, they disappear, they're gone. They don't exist anymore. By the way, <coughs> what's gonna be left? milliliters per hour milliliters on the top hours on the bottom all i do now because i have three numbers i take this times this and divide by that well i could do that in fact i'm going to do that now i'll show you an option here in a second but if i take 50 times 1000 one, do, 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 then divided by 600 well, the answer is 
83.3333333. What's the answer? 83. Round it off to the nearest whole number. Hey, with IVs, nearest whole number. But I discussed this in previous videos. The more zeros there are to punch into the calculator, the more chance you have of making a mistake and punching in too many zeros or too few. If you cancel zeros, it's going to be easier. So if this gives you problems, don't worry about it. You don't have to. You can still do it 50 times 1,000 divided by 600. But look here. You have one, two, three, four zeros on the top. Two on the bottom, well, I can cancel these two with, let's say, those two. And what's left? 50 times 10 divided by 6. That's four fewer zeros I have to plug in here, and I have a, you know, less of a chance of making some mistake. And just to prove it to you, ooh, you want proof, huh? Well, here we go. 50 times 10, then divided by 6. What a coincidence! The answer is 83. And 83.3333, but round off to the nearest whole number on all IV problems. So here is what, now we're going to do some more of these in the further videos. I was going to use the word in subsequent videos, but sub, oh, that's a big word, subsequent, further, more later. You do what? Anytime it's the order in something like milligrams per hour, or it could be something like units per hour, it's other, any kind of drug measurement in something, how many per hour, or it could be something per minute, sometimes we'll do some of those. You write that down like this, then you multiply by how strong your IV medicine is. It's very much like just a plain old dosage calculation. So to separate these two kinds, if you're just told how much volume to give in some length of time. Even if there's medicine dissolved in it or not, you just take the milliliters divided by the hours and that's your answer. But this is not the same. In fact, you don't even know how many hours you're doing this, do you? Mm, you can't do it that way. You're told you have this much dissolved in this much liquid, but the order is this. You put this down, then you put these numbers down to work it out, cancel out, and there's your answer. And now I'm going to do a few more of these to make sure you have the pattern down. Got that now, don't you?